Ladies and gentlemen, what is going down? It is your boy Matt Merced, man. I'm here with another banger for you guys. What I'm going to be doing in this video here is showing each and every one of you people watching how you can claim all of your in-game bonuses for Fallout 76, the Tricentennial Edition. So straight and simple like this, this video is going to be displaying all of the items that are included in-game for the Tricentennial Edition and how you guys are going to obtain them for yourselves. Now I'm hoping this video here helps you guys out as you know I kind of find this found this stuff out by just playing the game but this is going to help out anybody who's having a hard time claiming these things. Uh, sit back, relax man. Uh, you know don't think that these items aren't in the game because you can't find them. I'm going to break everything down here in like pretty good detail so you guys can look exactly like this and get your money's worth for buying this tricentennial edition so stay tuned hit that like button subscribe here if you're new for all future content without further ado let's get it all right guys the first thing you're going to want to do here is pull up your map and when you pull up the map with the pause button you're going to want to press l1 on the playstation 4 to bring up your side menu you're going to head to the atomic shop here and in the atomic shop it's going to display all the things you guys unlocked with this tricentennial edition first thing being an american patriot hat second thing being a patriotic vault boy mask third thing being an, an american patriot suit fourth thing being some tricentennial posters for your camp uh, five being a three paint set series, uh, tricentennial paint for your power armor, tricentennial paint for your pistol, and tricentennial paint for your hatchet, as well as tricentennial paint for a laser gun. Yes, I know it's overwhelming. It is a lot of different items that you guys are going to unlock with the tricentennial edition, but just pay attention to what's going on on screen as it's breaking down everything for you guys to show you exactly what you guys are going to unlock here. So yeah, this is just how you can check it out. You guys can do this yourselves. But what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how you can claim these items. And I also forgot to mention that another thing you guys are going to unlock is a tricentennial frame for any time you use photo mode. So yeah, you're going to be able to take pictures and also a tricentennial uh, salute emote. I, I didn't have it equipped, so, I'm, you know, you guys know how to use emotes uh, down on the D-pad, and you guys will find it in there. So, yeah, stay tuned, man. Here we go. What you're going to want to do is once you get out of Fault 76, you're going to be given a mission to head to the Overseer's Camp. Now, this is where you're going to collect a couple of items here, actually mostly all of your items. What you're going to want to do first is head over to the Armor Workshop, man. You're going to go into Headgear, and this is where you're going to find your three pieces. Your American Patriot hat, your Vault Boy mask, as well as a worn Patriot hat. That's in Headgear. Now, after you guys craft all these items, keep in mind that you can craft multiple items, and you do have to craft these. But if you guys search around uh, early in the game and find materials, you won't have a problem with this. So, yeah, I'm not sure either if you can craft these items and, like, drop them for friends or not. You guys can test it out and let me know if it works. But, yeah, you're, you're able to craft multiple items. So, that's pretty dope. Um, there's nothing in light armor. I don't know why I went there. I was just looking through stuff. Next is outfits. As you can see on screen, bro, you're going to get your American Patriot outfit. So, that's that. Once you guys uh, craft these items, open your Pip-Boy head into your apparel and from the apparel section is where you're going to be able to equip all of these items so yeah pretty cool stuff um what i'm going to be showing you guys next on screen is the paint sets i can't show you guys the armor paint set as i did not unlock a power armor station but when you guys unlock a power armor station it's going to be the same process probably not really sure yet and i can't show you guys either uh, the laser gun because I don't have one, but I will show you how you can get the 10 millimeter pistol Like it as a whole I'm going to show you how you can get your first 10 millimeter pistol and paint it as well as a hatchet So yeah uh, moving on After you guys Get to this camp you're going to be given a mission to head into the town of Flatwood once you get into the town of Flatwood the overseer is going to um, make you register as a volunteer after you register as a volunteer man you're going to have an optional mission to search for a lady named kesha mcdermott 
When you're in the computer, man, register first, then go under people directory, and you will find this lady. And after you guys find the information about this lady, follow your marker on the map. It's going to lead you to her. And after it leads you to her, man, as you can see on her, she's going to have it, your first 10 millimeter pistol. So, boom, pick that up. Your hatchet will be able to be crafted once you guys leave Fallout 76. Head over to a weapons workbench. You're going to be able to build a hatchet straight away. I did this right in the beginning once I first got out of that. I think that was my first weapon or second weapon there. So, yeah, that's the hatchet. Next step, uh, after you guys get your pistol, man, you could pause the game and fast travel back to the overseer's camp. Once you get there, you're going to go to the weapons workbench, and you're going to want to press X. I think to uh, edit your weapons, you're going to click the pistol and head all the way down to standard paint. Just follow what I'm doing on screen. And as you can see, man, there's your tricentennial paint for your pistol. Um, you're going to be able to do this with your hatchet um, and as well as your laser gun once you guys get one. And like I said from the beginning, the power armor, you will be able to do that once you guys unlock the power armor as a whole in the station. I'm not up to that yet. I've only played two hours of the game. But yeah, that's the weapons. What we're going to be doing here is moving on. Next is the Tricentennial posters. Open up your Pip-Boy and press L1 on the PlayStation to open up your camp here. What you're going to want to do is set the camp down, walk over to it, press X to build. In the building menu, man, you're going to want to keep pressing. I think on top is either R1 or R2 to go to these subcategories. The subcategory you guys are going to be looking for is your wall decor once you go to wall decor man you're going to go down with the controller pad and you're going to find your posters that you're going to be able to put on walls so simple and straightforward stuff i did forget to mention that in the atomic shop menu make sure when you guys go to your emote you equip it because you have to equip that emote uh next thing i'm going to show you how to do as you can see on screen is get your tricentennial photo frame uh press start to open up the map press l1 Go down to photo mode. Once you guys get in the photo mode, you're going to be given a screen like this. You're going to head over all the way to the right to your frame section. I th I'm pretty sure it's going to be under standard frames, man. You're going to just go down to the next category and press a left. Uh, press left on the D-pad. And that's where you're going to find your photo frame for taking pictures. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. That's all the bonuses for the Tricentennial Edition. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new here for more Fallout 76 content. Um, I'm going to be uploading my first, I think, almost two hours of gameplay for this game. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. More Red Dead Redemption 2 content is coming soon. It's going to be a hell of a grind this next week or so. So stay tuned, man. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully this helped you out. And yeah, man, we lit. Uh, thank you guys for 100 and I think 19 subscribers, man. If you guys can make my goal of 125 a possibility, it'd be well appreciated. Thank you guys again for watching. It's your boy, Matt Merced, man. And I'm out. Peace.